Hey everyone, this is Brandy. Um, today I wanted to show you guys how I retouch skin. So let's not waste any time and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my layer twice by clicking Control J on my keyboard. <clears throat> and now I'm going to uh, hide this uh, second layer right here. And now I'm going to click on this one. Now I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now what you want to do is you want to take your blur up just to where the texture of the skin is kind of hidden, but not overly done. So this vid for this video, I'm going to overdo it so that you guys can see the difference. But uh, you guys might not have to take it all the way up to, you know, 8.4 or whatever. Just do it until the texture of the skin is softened. So I'm going to go right there and you're going to click OK. And now I'm going to unhide the first la layer, <clears throat> and now I'm going to select it. Now you want to go over here to Image, Apply Image. Now I'm going to go right here to where it says Layer, and I'm going to select the layer under the second copy, so Layer 1. And I'm going to check uh, change my Blending Mode to Subtract. Okay, and here your opacity, it should already be set like this, but your opacity should be at 100%, your scale should be 2, and your offset should be 128. And don't worry about these check boxes right here. So now you're going to click OK. And now you're going to go over here, and you're going to go to Linear Light. And so uh, the color in all your original picture should pop back up. So I'm going to click Control and select layer one, and that should select both layers, and I'm gonna put it in a folder. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna start with the skin smoothing. I'm gonna go down here and click layer one, and I'm gonna grab my lasso tool. So I'm gonna zoom on into her face. So I'm gonna select a small area, about right there, and now I'm gonna go to filter, blur, and then select Gaussian Blur. And now you're going to up the radius right until you notice that it's starting to soften her face a little bit. So about there's good for me. So that just softened the area. So I'm going to just keep selecting smaller spots. And I'm actually going to right click and select Gaussian Blur. Okay, so I softened her face. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference, so I'm going to go before, after, before, after. And now I'm looking at her hands. I think I want to soften those too. Okay, so that looks so much better. I'm going to go here, look at before and after, before and after, and that looks great. So now I'm going to um, take a snapshot and I'm going to flatten this. 